What's up everyone, welcome to my masterclass and in this video I will be talking about Europapa from Netherlands Joost Klein semi-final performance. This video is not about judging the what I think about the song, this, this is not a review, this is more like a breakdown of the staging, so take all the elements this technical way, even though maybe I will sometimes comment or maybe I will tell you right now, this is not about singing, this is this definitely if I just talk about singing, it's not it's not the thing, but how they worked with the song over the staging in here, I think this is brilliant. Regardless what I really think about it, and I want to show you where all those brilliant little elements are, even though it feels like, well, it's very simplistic staging in some cases, at some point, but somebody need to think about how to proper edit, how to proper light it how to do a little tweaks here and there, choreography and so on. And this is all present in here. Actually, this is a very good staging in regards or what, sex, what song it represents, which is very, very important to understand. So if you're ready, let's talk. All right, guys, I'm very glad you're here. And well, let's watch it together. I will comment during classically and then I will do a breakdown. So let's do this. I will just Make sure that it's not too loud. This is actually genius. It's like it starts like establishing your in, in the immediately in. Then let, let okay the vocals, but let's let's watch the acting. I think this is the biggest strength of yours. Really good acting. It's very. I don't know how for how long he was training this, but it's precise. All the move, all the ex facial expression, this is all trained. It's a choreography. And it like also find that it's amazingly dynamic song by edit, by camera movement and lights. And also they are using those lights, making it really like a concert discotheque somehow. And amazing editing, and it's it's partly like a fun comedy done, but also with serious approach of the editing. There is always a principle of dynamizing. Simple little details, but they are at the right moment. This guy is on the telephone all the time. Details. Nice shot. Okay, if this would be true, but uh, this is very nice. I love this. This is just a point. Of course, the, like, he has amazing charisma with this, it just works, he makes the staging also working, you know, pretty well. And detail like this, it's old school methods working, and this is also brilliant, like, brilliant idea, how to shoot, you re-establish completely the setup. The acting, you like it or not, doesn't matter, but it's on point. And also he do this exactly on the of piano. This is amazing shot. This is a little bit pity that I can see it. They could do it really, but it was impossible. It's impossible with the parasite light. Anyway, the, this staging shows like how very important. Like you have different kind of approaches of staging. Like you can say like, oh, they approach it funnily. They approach it very big. I think what it's important on staging, and this is an example to make the staging the way that supports the song and the artist that it's in coloration 
this is very authentic for you. So if you saw his concert, concerts in general, they are crazy. They are using elements like we can see in here, ironical, funny elements. So this feels, it feels natural. Also how he was probably preparing for it. It's very hard work because this is on point. Like every movement, turn, turn around, look into the camera, look outside of the camera, doing like stuff. Okay, not about singing, but this song is not about singing. It's not that important if it's just pronounced. This was really done to have fun, dynamize and really be in tempo all the time. And this is happening. And this established shot already, show, like to establish, they, again, I said it in one of the videos. It's like with the book, first sentence in the book. It's very important if you will like the book or it will be hard for you to get through it if you want to or if you will completely put it aside regardless if the general book is good or not. The first impression is important. First thought, it comes with people, it comes with books, it comes with movies, it also counts with stagings. So the first shot, it's ultra, ultra important. This is maybe one of the most important parts of the stagings to impress immediately. And then you need to keep the, then you need to keep the attention, but this is super important and this is weird. This is all weird and tells you, okay, this will be weird. It will be probably funny. What the hell is this? But it won't, it won't, it, it, it makes you feel emotions. And this is important. So this, and this is on point, you know, <laughs> it's so weird, this breakdown of the face, but cool. The only thing I was, when I was feeling like that, the Hero Papale link is not that hearable, but because he opened the lips over here, that a little bit tells you that something is happening and it's very clear clear for you to read the lips. Calm. And it's on point. And this, even though you can say like it's kind of fakeish, it's the character, you know? It's the, this is the character. This is act. And the editing is brilliant. And this shot, for example, it's for your eyes. It's so pleasing. You have like the gradient lights, very soft lights, soft lights with <laughs> those, you know, old school windows graphics, like really old and him in the center of attention. It feels like a, like a movie. If you, for example, know the series, the boys, they are using those principles there a lot, like with the, like this shot and doing this life, having this atmosphere life for me, this amazing like uh, this actually in my opinion how should for example look the visual a little bit atmospheric for uh, Latvia for Dons that would be brilliant you know because look this shot is just amazing like of course they cannot stand in it because the, the song is dynamic but how they work with the lights it's amazing and also like how they act something like <laughs> the lights are making the sound you know like they don't but this is how it feels. All the all the accent is here. The beat strobo. And then we go dynamic. Fast cameras, very fast cameras. Look how fast it is. So we have one crane. This is very fast movement. And then you have beats also supported by those lines. They put all those all those box lights uh, to create kind of a roof. And if you don't see the beat, he is doing the beat by walking, you know, so you always in the tempo. There is nothing what what disconnects you from the song. It, it all makes sense all the time, all the time you are in the tempo, all the time during the song, you can feel the motion. It's never stop. The train is coming. Again, with the sound. And again, fast camera movement. Choreography. The good thing on this, that he is so extravagant and so charismatic that they don't, even they are white, they don't take his attention because this is, he's probably he's very tall, but also he he looks dominant also his position is a little bit in front of them so you don't mind them but they are just not making the empty space the, the dancers over there 
also it's a little bit kind of bizarre they play this kind of uh, nothing kind of connects anything together but in a way that everything fits together it somehow makes absolute sense also this is because of the color usage blue and white and they dynamize the picture in here even as it's, it's static like the static camera but this graphics behind like dancing creating the strobo he's doing the they are doing the beat supporting it then you don't need more it would be too much Do, 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 do. The editing again. Oh, here. Accenting. It's visually ple pleasant, and also what they did in here, I love it when they use this as some column, or it's a maybe graphical graphical effect that uh, this transition. Hard to hard to tell if it's like perfect masking or it's a graphical effect anyway. It's even if it's a tran transition, which probably it, it might be, even though I can see some some light in here, so maybe it went through some something. It's the edit is done perfectly. Boom, another camera. It's not the same camera, you know. And for you, this dynamics, this dynamics for the eyes are extremely pleasant. This is the difference between doing random edit and a proper, very planned editing. And you can tell the difference if you compare. Because this is those little details are the fa things which makes you still in. Because also the sound accent this. Not not really in here. Those are details in the in the in the screen. The funny thing is about that I'm I probably won't ever pay really that much that much that much attention for those. And this is actually good that they don't take your attention from what's happening over here and him. It's more like if you would like to see it's also here more likely it gives you the vibe of the era it gives you the vibe it's not asking for the attention that much even though somebody thought about it those details are there but because of course we don't understand most of us don't understand the language he's singing it in uh, Dutch and also German it doesn't matter this is of course in English but the reminiscence it's more likely give me the vibe all the pop culture, all the all the culture of 90s, let's put it over here. But you just focus on the whole picture all the time and the whole picture really works. You have this crazy stuff and you know, because it's you already in the game of this bizarre, let's say, in a good way, that they put all those roads over here, it's dancing, but now in this moment they are in the situation they can do whatever on stage and you take it because you take like whatever can happen on stage and even though it makes sense or it doesn't make sense it makes sense for you they sold you the product the perfect way that they can basically do whatever on stage everything and you you don't question it you won't question it it just makes simply sense and this is amazing marketing this is amazing marketing in a good way i'm not i'm not making it uh, as something wrong because this is how you can also do it instead of trying to be concrete and so on even they are they are it, they they made you the face this will be crazy and when your brain accepts this whatever but they do it perfectly they also use you know there's so many some interesting stuff they're using the uh, eu flag a lot which is which is blue and gold stars right this is what also those lights are doing basically simulating what the chicken has on the on the costume 12 flags uh 12 stars they're actually not 12 actually one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve perfect so they are actually this is like a very nerdish detail it's not that important but in the whole picture somebody really thought about it with about those details you know they are present and also those uh, oh, the beat lights are those those ones do, 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 do. but you're already thought I like this edit they, they are on the white shot and then on the other one they go the, on the close-up another close-up three 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 shots in a two seconds and I love this shot because this is very pointed out with the chicken 
he's normally doing not nothing, you know. But on this in this moment, he's more interactive. And also, there is one more moment where he, where the chicken is interactive. But then, when you're looking at it more times, he's basically doing still the same things. But on those specific moments, the chicken does something different, you know. And you can see it. You don't even mind that the graphics change because it's changed on the exact beat. Everything is accented in the right way. Only this I don't like that much that I cannot hear you. That it a little bit loses dynamics, but this is a big breakdown, you know. And here it again get it. Europa choreography, all of them, also the graphics, also the lights do exactly what you need them to do. So your brain again, everything is connecting to sound, to vocal, to visual. It's like one thing doing the same exact thing at the same time. Important, interesting. They also put the lights a little bit more down and they are not now as a rule, they are more flat, they are more flat. And this is like, like simple detail in graphics, but I love this. This is something I like, this is nerdish again, but I like that, that you know this, they use something like you're, <laughs> you're manually, manually uh, transforming the scale. <laughs> It's like fun, like like somebody who created all of this was thinking about such nerdy details and every single thing in this, it's a fun. It's a different thing than Finland, which also was very funny. This is another approach, more hipsterish. This is definitely more hipsterish, but very clever. There are so many simple, simple details which somebody needed to do, you know, and it's full of it. And the editing is just brilliant. Also the light, the lightning, this, this type of lightning is just brilliant because now he's kind of alone on the stage, but it in the dynamics it feels it's not. And because he now plays the role of the crazy, I don't know, crazy angry German or something. Also with the, he changed the expression completely. He's like pumped up, pumped up, pumped up, pumped up. And you can feel like this atmosphere, it's again transferred to your face. So it's not weird when he in here, he changed the, the visage for from a happy guy to angry and he must go 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 and he's still there and I like then watch the chicken doing this it's again all the time nothing and then in this way a little choreographical steps which again dynamize perfectly the staging like so many details they were thinking about also with editing what to pinpoint at at the same time this is a mastery you know And it's always beating. And no, you know nothing all the time, but <laughs> this, what the chicken does, is brilliant. Exactly the beat. It's a. Also, the, I like the I like the light light work because all all supports every single instrument, every single beat in the right moment. So for your, it's calm, but. It's like really on the, some rave party, this is the rave, you know. This is, a, this is the, so this is the part when this is a pure uh, acting. It's not really about anything else. And there is this very nice detail that this guy is phoning already, you know. And then they also use it. He takes the phone. It's like, hey. This is just pure fun. I like those pixel graphics behind, but it's not, everything is about him. Like he takes all the attention, regardless they are in the white. Like if if you don't stop the picture, you just don't know about them. They just dynamize, you know. Also in this kind of Eurovision cliche, making fun of it. Like you need to have a choreography on stage. You know this is how it feels, but because the whole. Song staging feels like an irony making fun 
your salt, your salt. Hey, this is I love this detail. It's a choreography. Okay, uh, the song is not about singing. It's like he's not a perfect singer at all. But okay, we know about this, so let's sell what he's good at and hide what he's not good at. And definitely it's charisma, his expression, his uh, dynamics, dy dynamics what he can sell to the arena. Also this shot is brilliant and also this whole, this whole uh, steady cam shot, you know, I like, I like cut. And also watch what every, the arena is like one, they are all one body, you know, I love it. They use the arena, so actually even this hay feels very hay on this. Hey, everything lit up. Everything is lit up. Everybody is doing hay. It feels natural. A boom, blue, blue, and we go cut. Brilliant. And now we they change completely the atmosphere and they go and it feels like the lights are writing the letters on the LED. It it feels much more plastic than it actually is. I like on what they do in this staging that even they could ruin it by having it too much lit up. They found a space how to recreate the shape of the arena. First of all, they are using a lot of shapes from the lights, so it's not flat like 2D like box, they they are breaking the box and also how they use the graphics and everything, it feels it more plastic, 3D, much more spatial, much more layerish. For example, in here you can see it. it's one layer, then th they are the layer, then th this is the layer because it feels it's just behind them. It feels like the lights are behind the whole writing and then a black space. Like everything is kind of floating, even though it's not true. This is on LED and those are in front. But for your eyes, how they play with the visual, also because you can see it's blurred, you know, it's in the movement. But that's how they like put it like from small, small leather to bigger. It feels 3D, even it's not. And that creates this effect. That now, how, how, what can you say how the arena looks from this shot? You don't know, right? And this is the another mastery because whenever you see the arena more concrete, it takes you out a little bit. It doesn't work perfectly, but if you break it, you break it with the lights. They are like this angle now, maybe 45 degrees or something like this. They are also pointed out. So also those lights are creating shapes. They are creating, recreating the space. This is pleasant for the eye. This is what is the difference of this stage in general and it's much more simple usage than for example last year in Liverpool where all the stages, most of them were looking very flat, zero atmosphere, very concrete, very artists were looking like they are like this connected to the screen. In here you use vis visual tricks not to look like this and for example Netherlands used it perfectly, those visual tricks. So it feels really special, the arena looks much bigger than it actually is. And lots of stagings have their own very unique atmosphere just because they break, use the, the props, use the, no, even props. They used the arena possibilities, reshaping its uh, static shape to break down the structure so you're not feeling in empty space or huge space. Brilliant. This is also feel like floating. The light is doing it. Look how the how the so okay the the pa, 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 pa goes there, but it's also connected to the light. So both elements, which you need to focus at, are there, and the rest is just the ambient around to give you a space to focus over here. It's still have the atmosphere. This shot is brilliant, but this light and those pa, 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 are creating one thing that you're concentrating on it. This is important. You don't lose attention. You don't look. What the hell is happening here? What the hell is happening here? No, here they want you to look here and you look here with simple method. Put a light there. They just upgraded it with the fact of this funny letters, you know, or lyrics. And building up this dance disco, 
This editing is just better. And then they look how they use the ceiling. And I loved it when they stopped the moment. They weren't afraid to stop the moment and also did this framing like of his shoulders, you know. But I love it. This is amazing. Now, now we have pure discotheque. Lights. LED screen. Everything is on point. It's like a directed chaos. Oh, this shot is a pure acting. But what is brilliant how they again beat with those lights after. You feel like those sound those lights have light, uh, those lights have sound effect. Of course this this is the old school trick. Use somebody to do the trick. I used the audience for saying it's only a friend. This is a connecting vibe with the song, like it still continues and you can recreate another scene somewhere else for a little bit while then you need to do something else and this this just works. So this because this shot it gave everybody the chance to for Jos to find the position he needs to be for the light. That everybody is everything is perfect, camera guy can prepare. We are now focusing somewhere else and be, after that, those guys leave, Jost is ready, and we have this scene. With the transition to fade out, brilliant shot, also the good idea that they used for this moment, the translation for everybody. Then of course you can like, like it if you're fake, if, if it's fake, acted or real, it's up to you. But look at the detail, how he blinked the eye, exactly on the tone of the piano. Now he, now. So it's rehearsed, of course, it's extremely perfectly rehearsed, but it gives it, it's up to you if it gives authenticity or it takes it off. For me, it works oppositely, then it should probably. For some other people, it works the way it's probably they want it. But for what I like is this shot, it looks also how they use this, how they use the light. This is one pity thing that it's, it's here, somebody should have taken it. But I like it because it looks like from this old cartoon movie. It has the brilliant atmosphere, I love it. This is, uh, this is just cool shot, cool shot, the whole cool ending. It, this, this staging is thoughtful from beginning till the end. In my opinion, one of the best stagings this year many very good stagings this year. I like to break it down and it's not about what I think about the song, it's more about what I really think about the approach of the directors. They of course claim that we will see something we've never seen before. I wouldn't say that this is something unique, but I what I like how they approach the song, Yost and everything that it feels like it belongs. It makes sense in its non-sensual way kind of, which is perfect. This is amazing skill, amazing approach, amazing details, also amazing light and camera work. Like, there is nothing wrong. I can say like, what the, why? This is not like this. This is like, it's clicking. It's all, everything done perfectly. And same as Croatia. There are just, if there is one detail, I would say like, maybe they could approach it differently. Maybe even here, it's not anything like this it's just on point all the time brilliant bravo and i really hope i uh, teach you something again that you learn something new maybe some details you didn't see before or maybe you're more understanding about what the stagings are about what the proper staging is about where to focus how attention is inter important and how to connect ears eyes and all, all one in the one pack it's very very important and that's the lesson uh, from today thanks to the Yoast stagings and the Netherlands and the director of this of this show so hope you enjoyed and see you next time thank you for watching bye